Hello everybody, welcome to episode 25 of All The Mods 8. Um, you might notice I'm glowing and whatnot, and that's because I actually did a live stream, if I could back up here, where we got OP, we got all of our stuff enchanted and reforged to basically some of the best stuff it can be. But enough of that, check out the live stream if you didn't miss it, we had a lot of fun. Uh, today, I have very big plans. Um, these plans including nether stars. I want nether stars, I want to do it through alchemistry. You might have seen this, I'm going to do this for literally like probably 10 episodes, but we're finally gonna get through today. So I have set up some auto crafting over here for things that we're gonna need. Um, I know we're gonna need some other stuff like yttrium and tungsten. So we're gonna have to find ways to get those for the controller for the fusion and vision because we are gonna need that. But for some of this stuff like this, we can get from, oh, you need these four to make um, another stars. Um, so we need titanium, right? This we can get from with the skeleton skulls. This we can get from um a lot of stuff we may have to set some stuff up but there are ways to get it uh probably we're gonna do through the fusion controller but next is lutit lutidium i think <laughs> which we can also get very easily and then titanium which titanium is gonna be a little bit harder this one we're gonna have to use fusion or fission so we are going to get pretty advanced in our chemistry um and to do that i want to actually build in a lab um not just this base right so i've kind of got some things <laughs> some calcite i want to build it out of and then also some of these bold stone pillars and i've kind of picked out an area that i think i will like a lot but before we do any of that i actually wanted to test out the sword we got on live stream on a wither <laughs> so why don't i grab some soul sand and uh let's go crazy with this thing just to give you guys a little bit of a uh catch up on what I've been doing. Um, <laughs> we're gonna kill it. Look at how fast I am, by the way. There's an issue we're gonna fix. I am too fast. Let's see, I can probably just sit right here. I'm gonna sit right next to the wither and we're not gonna take any damage. Are you, are you all ready for this? And then I'm gonna hit it and then he's gonna get like two shot. What, my health took no damage. And the wither's dead. <laughs> and just like that, the wither is dead. That took no time at all. Uh, anyways. That's how OP we are right now, and I wish the wither effect didn't last, last for so long. But anyways, we have another sword though, uh, for whenever we need that for things. But I'm gonna now show y'all kind of the area I was scoping out, which was just over here. Aha! Yes, I was gonna choose this flat hill surface to kind of build a lab. Um, I think it's gonna look cool, so I guess I'm gonna get to building. I may do a little montage. Then I'll be back when this lab is finished and we can get to work. everyone a little bit of time later here's what i have uh i think it looks very lab like i really like the blue sandstone i'm glad i saw this and then leave this door is that not the coolest thing ever and we're gonna put stuff in here eventually uh, when we get into a little bit more alchemy but first thing i really need to do is get my me system set up over here so i guess now is probably the best time to one definitely have to set up teleportation to over there and two get some singularity stuff going on so we're gonna do that uh because we really need singularity stuff going on <laughs> all right so to hook up these uh quantum dudes one i'm gonna go down to my ae room this needs channels or does it need channels i don't know if it does but we need to carry channels over from one place to another so i really should have put a room here for this um let me come back when i figure this out Alrighty, so i kind of have just a little room down here so i can carry channels over and whatnot um that's gonna be a little difficult because i don't know exactly where i'm gonna ca carry channels from probably from right here <laughs> anyway so to build this dude you're gonna need some quantum entangled singularities which you get from the normal singularities and blowing them up with some ender pearls um, and this is how you link two places together. So I'm gonna want this kind of multi-block going on. You get eight of them. I need to hook him up, I believe, to one of these sides. We're just gonna do 32 channels. Network booting? Yeah, maybe. Work. Device online. Okay, yes, cool. And then I think now we do this. Maybe? Yes, one in there. And I don't know if he needs power or not. Um, I could be mistaken. 
Dickon. I, I don't know. This guy doesn't. Okay, okay. Uh, so you get that. And then now I need to go to where I want to send. Oh, I just went to the wrong dimension. Uh-oh, not here. I want to go to where I want to send channels, which would be right here. Yes, so I want channels probably underground somewhere. Um, I can just get something going on right under here, I think. What do we like this? Like this, get this in here, and then you, I think, connect up to power. Aha, I figured it out. I'm a big dum-dum. I need an energy acceptor. <laughs> and this dude, we just do this with a little bit of this, and then I think just a little bit of this, and then this should be online. Oh, <gasps> maybe? Yes, okay, awesome. Now I should, hypothetically, I kinda wanna move this. Uh, yeah, I wanna move this, hold on. All right, so I have this, I have this side power now, powered now, so I should be able to grab channels from my network, not from right there. Um, from my network, just over here, right? So if I go ahead and I wanted to grab a wireless AE dude, are we cool with that? I'm cool with that. One of him and then some rain, some of these use wireless boosters. <laughs> uh, a decent amount, but I think 10 actually should be fine. So if I go back to the alchemy lab and then I can just attach this dude up uh, somewhere down here, but let me actually get down here. Like here, and then network booting, I could put all of this in here, and I should now be able to access my system from hopefully anywhere in this room. And further? Um, let's test it out, if I could get out of here. Yes. Okay, so I now have access to my network from my alchemy lab. That is awesome. Sweet. Okay. Okay, that makes me very happy. So, now we have ME access over here, which we will use in the future, but right now, now that we have our alchemy lab built, um... Nether stars, yes. We need these four elements for nether stars, which are going to be a little difficult to get, but it should be doable, right? So this one we can get just by with a skeleton skulls. So this should be pretty easy to do from the looks of it. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a bunch of drawers. I don't know why I don't have these auto crafted yet. 43, that should be plenty. Actually, I would like this drawer though. <laughs> this drawer seems better um yeah okay so this is our like chemistry wall we're gonna put all this stuff against this wall it's gonna be cool i first maybe i should have moved my me things it's fine let's get some cables um i'm going to get some cable connection running over here here's what we're gonna do we're going to have an interface right that exports the items that we need to kind of just automate um another stars right so over here Grab my calcite, you know, do the thing, get this done, okay. I am going to want to make an interface. Inter... Interface, this guy. I don't know why he's not auto-crafted either, but we'll work on it. Boom. He's here. He should be online. If I wanted to grab some of these dudes and I put them in my system, I should see he's going to export it here. Okay, good. Okay. Now... For this stuff, we need wither skeleton skulls, yes, and then a dissolver. So I should, I did, before this episode, learn to autocraft all this stuff. I need a dissolver, so that will be the first in the line. It's easy, right? So we're going to get now, in here, wither skeleton skulls, just right here. And then we will have some laser IO going on for sure, which I really should teach my system how to do. Let me do that real quick. All right, back to the lab. <laughs> Let me get like 20 of these dudes. Oh, we don't know how to make glass panes. Hold on. Okay, now back to the lab. Let me make some laser dudes. Like I said, like 20 of them. I think I just made 10, that's fine. We're gonna make some item cards. Good, perfect. Some counting filters, sounds good to me. Some normal filters, also good. Yes, we like this. Look at this. Beautiful, I say, beautiful. Okay, let's get all this stuff out. Let me grab my card holder. Should be somewhere around here. Oh, this mod is really gorgeous. Okay, now, like I said, here we want with this health and skills. Oh, we also need power over here. Let's get some flux dudes. Uh, some flux points. Let's get power to over here as well. Uh, is this a full block around? I can see like underneath it, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Let's get power. So you, you, you. So you should be getting power. I want Wither Skeleton Skulls going into here. So I'm going to have, from here, just an extract card. Um, and in here will be an insert with a filter, right? So let me get a filter. Filter, 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 filter. Basic filter. Nah, we can do counting filter. I don't want too many in here at once. Um, filter with a Skeleton Skull. We can have two in here at once. That's fine. So you're going to make all the things. You should cap out it too. You shouldn't get any more. Perfect. So now you're going to start making all this stuff. Now we really only want this stuff. We don't care about this stuff. 
So what are we gonna do? We're just gonna throw them both in drawers, one with a void upgrade and whatnot, because we really don't need this stuff for anything. Maybe we could use it for some of this stuff in the future. So this stuff we're just gonna take out, right? And then we are going to put it somewhere in a drawer. Where I want that drawer, I don't know. I kind of want it like in a wall of drawers, I think. Um, like all the elements I have is what I'm thinking. So let me think about this for a second. I start kind of just like a basic shelf going on here. It doesn't look the greatest, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we need a drawer controller, a storage controller right here. We're going to have this guy, I guess, just um over here is fine. Right. And then we can have another laser dude just right here with, hey, uh, all these will need to be locked by default. I mean, I'll just have to link them up. Okay. So here's here. Let me explain what I'm doing so I can actually do it all. <laughs> Uh, we want all these to be linked to this controller. Here's what we're going to do. Here's the plan. We're going to automate all the elements we need. See right here, we have all of this stuff that we need. We're going to take it, put it into these drawers, and we can also back stuff on these elements just in case we want to use them for something else in the future. Like, right, we're going to use this for more than just wither stars, right? Uh, this room. So this is just a start. <laughs> so I want these elements all to be kind of just stored in here. So for starters, we're going to want this, uh, whatever this is and whatever this is. Right, we are going to want some here and some here. Now, why does that one... Huh, that's weird. Anyways, so this is that, right? We're going to have an extract card here. Extract. So that's going to, as soon as I connect these up right now, and I have... It's, it's east. East on insert. We should see that those elements get inserted into here. Yes, but we want... Uh, it to extract a little faster. <laughs> Please and thank you. So they should be getting their respective elements. Yes, you're going to do your thing until you run out. Now, I feel like this needs to be overclocked. So let's get some overclocker dudes, um, some card overclockers. And this way on the extract card, we can overclock it and make it much, 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 much faster. Right. So that all of this should be taken out now, um, except ooh, these are full, aren't they? OK, good, good. So I want this to stop. Um, but it's not going to, <laughs> which I'm okay with. Like, we want these elements, right? So, we'll let this fill up and back stuff. That's fine. How are we doing with our skeletal tools? We are going to have to automate that sometime soon. This may be a multiple episode project. We'll see. Uh, I have it planned out to be one, but we don't know. So, this is step one done, right? The Mendelevium, done. So, this stuff is going to be the hard stuff, <laughs> right? We need a way to get this Mendel... Uh, what is it called? The... Dysprosium. Yes. How am I going to do that? Well, we can get it from stone, um, which is what I might do. Like stone bricks um, or just normal stone we can find it in. So I think this is actually going to be fine because we get a whole bunch of elements along with it. So this we're going to need another dissolver. And this is basically going to fill up this over here, <laughs> right? With all the elements we're going to be getting. Now, will it be fast enough? I don't know. Because the other way to get this is with the fusion controller, but we can't exactly get... I kind of do want to do that instead of what I'm doing now, actually. Because some of the stuff we could do really easily, because we need 66, so... That probably won't actually be that hard to do. Yeah, let's get a fusion controller. Let's get the fusion dude. Fusion. How do I get the fusion guy? Uh, that needs tungsten. Okay, so tungsten. What do I need for tungsten? Tungsten! It looks like we have to dissolve anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will be dissolving stone then. Um, we can put this stone just right here. Get some cables. Cables. These are fine because these are kind of slow. We need stone to go into this guy, right? So another laser node here on the down. We will have an insert, but not, not for stone. <laughs> down or for stone. Insert. I want a filter. Can I get my filters out? On the down. Filter for stone. Boom. Awesome. Perfect. Right. So now if I were to put stone in here, can I do that? Oh, I can. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay. And I want 64 at all times. Awesome. Perfect. And now if I connect this dude up to him, we should get stone in here. Yes. Now we're getting stone. Perfect. Perfect. I say, uh, I wish it would go faster. Yeah. We, we kind of need this to go faster. <laughs> Uh, though it does seem to be keeping up, so maybe we don't need to go faster. I kind of want multiples of these, though. So let's get a little more dissolvers so this is faster. Let's get, like, a good amount of dissolvers. Like, ten, just for, uh, just for this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten dissolvers just for stone. <laughs> How do we like that? I like that. Uh, that way we get a whole bunch of stuff going on. 
right? We get all of the elements. The, this is going to give us a bunch of miscellaneous elements, which, like I said, is what we want. This is good. Now, I guess I could do this a little easier via, um, not this. <laughs> oh, we're doing really good on this element, too. Okay. Whew, how are we doing over here? We have one of the dysprosium, right, which is important. But all these we're going to have to save, so I need an extract card in all these as well. I'm going to set these all up with stone with insert and extract, right? Like this. Uh, and this should be plenty fast enough. Why did all these go in here? <laughs> That's odd. It shouldn't have done that. Because now it's getting stone in here. Oh my gosh, everyone. I finally figured it out. Oh, this mod. Oh my gosh, this mod kind of sucks. Anyways, anyways, I figured it out. Um, I am now, so I am just using a counting filter on here <laughs> to only have eight stone in here, and that seems to be working. So now I'm going to have an extract card uh, on down with you. I want, for now, we'll take it, make it something else, um, just so I don't mess anything up. I want to filter on this, right, with to be not stone. So stone deny, right? So then we'll put this on the down with an extract. Oh, did I keep that over there? I did. Right? So down, extract, but don't extract stone. So now he's going to extract everything, and he should be taking it directly into these drawers over here that are filling up with our elements. I think that's what's happening. I don't know where else they would be going because there's no insert card on here. So yes, that is what's happening. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to do this a million more times over here, and then I will be right back because that's what I was going to do, and then everything fell apart, but we should be good again. Alrighty, so all these are set up, all of our chemicals are going into here, and we need... is it fast enough? Nah, it could be faster. Um, but like I said, we don't super have a better way of getting this dysprosium yet or anything, so that's what we have for right now, <laughs> right? Because we... okay, now that we have this, we need, we need some more stuff, right? Um, we really do need... I think the fusion is cheaper, or is the fission cheaper? Fission needs yttrium, which is hard to get from the looks of it. Um, we get that from Blackstone and whatnot. Uh, and then the fusion stuff from Tungsten, which I don't think we have gotten any of. Um, w. No, we, we do have some. Not enough to make the controller yet, so we're going to leave this be, right? Um, but right now we have a lot of this stone going, so getting all these random elements, right? So right now we're doing pretty good. Right, we could be doing worse. Next is, on the list at least, we need this stuff, which is going to need chorus fruit. Um, super easy, right? We, we have chorus fruit. This dissolver we could put right over here, sure. Uh, but I want to separate it by one so I know that they're separate. And then here we're going to have another laser node with you down, insert, uh, allow chorus fruit. But I probably want another counting filter. Yeah, <laughs> we want a counting filter. Okay, so counting filter on down, you, not that, uh, down, you, you, chorus fruit. Because this mod, the inventories are a bit weird. <laughs> Let's just do eight chorus fruit. And then we're going to have an extract card on you, deny chorus fruit. So you should insert chorus fruit and not extract chorus fruit. Yes? Perfect. Okay. Now we want to take cellulose and also this stuff, and we want to put it in our drawer system so things, so these can start being inserted into here. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So those are now being inserted. Um, these are going to be faster than over here, just because we have a better, there's less stuff to get here. But anyways, now we have this element done, right? So now we need titanium, which does need the fusion and fission and whatnot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be here in a minute. Um, I'll probably set those up in a room like over here. I think that would be cool to have like a fusion and vision room and whatnot. I haven't finished this room, obviously. Right, because right now we need titanium. That's this stuff. Or tungsten for um for one of the two. Because uh, yttrium, yttrium we get from blackstone. I've not set up blackstone. <laughs> I could. I probably should set up blackstone uh but i can get it from the fusion controller and fusion is the one that needs titanium or tungsten not titanium tungsten which we're, we're getting there right we need a compactor 16 we can make four pieces right now <laughs> which is not the most in the world but let's go and make a compactor oh, i already have one sweet we'll put this dude since he's not really a part of this setup 
we'll put them somewhere different, I think. Um, so I'll have my compactor right here. You, I'm just going to put some tungsten in, and he's going to make tungsten dust. Awesome. Um, we obviously need a lot more of this. So I guess what I should do while well, that's going, because now we need titanium. And I, this is the only way to get it. Whew. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a little difficult. That's fine, though. It's fine. Can we get it through, can get it through bees? Huh. That's interesting. We may we may use that in the future, but we're getting there. We're actually getting a decent amount of stuff, which is very cool, actually. I'm very happy with this setup already. Right? We have dysprosium, not at a good rate, but enough that I mean technically technically if we want to get technical, we're three fourths away of getting automated nether stars with this recipe, right? We just need the titanium, which is with fusion or fission. Um I don't know. Super, I'm gonna, I think carbon, sulfur, that looks good for getting titanium, helium, and calcium, that looks easy. Uh, what else looks easy? Sodium? Sodium's probably easy, I would, I would, I would imagine. Um, uh, may maybe? Yeah, sodium is super easy. And we could just use two of that with fusion to get titanium. So, I'm happy. I'm very happy, right? With this, this is very much doable, actually. And we can kind of get a start on Nether Star Automation. It won't be the fastest thing in the world, but it will be automated. And I'm going to turn this bobble thing off that increases my heart. Get out of here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of wait. We almost have enough, right? We have how many pieces? We have three pieces of tungsten. Uh, we need three more. So we need 48. So we're, we're halfway there until we can get this fusion stuff going on. So let me, let me go ahead and make the rest of the fusion thing. So we're going to need a fusion chamber controller, which I, I did kill that wither um, in the beginning. And then, what else do we need? I know it needs something else, right? I know probably some reactor casing, uh, reactor input, reactor output, reactor energy, and then some reactor casings. I don't know how big this needs to be. I don't think these are expensive to make, so I'm just gonna make a hundred, <laughs> right? There's a book, there's a book. Let me make this book really quick. Ah. So I am going to need some reactor glass. Three fusion... Oh, wow, that's a lot of fusion cores. <laughs> but I can look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's make a room for this, shall we? I like that idea. All right, so I have a cool little room over here. And I also have some, like, signs above here. But to do this, we're going to need reactor glass, is what I'm seeing. Uh, which is kind of expensive. Yeah, well, it's not expensive, but more like it's hard to get. So, for reactor glass... Um, we are going to need silicon dioxide, which we should have a stupid amount of right over here. That's cellulose uh, over here then. Yeah, silicon dioxide, we're voiding it because I don't want it. I know that I don't want nickel either. Uh, and I want these things to keep going when it gets those. <laughs> so silicon dioxide, which we have. We also need lead oxide, which ugh, we should have lead. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't have lead. Yeah, we can get lead easy, right? It's the oxygen part that I'm not super sure about. <laughs> um, oxygen gas? How does one get that? I don't know. Oh, we can get it from silicon dioxide in the dissolver. Oh, oh, check that out. Okay, let's do that then. Let's get ourselves a dissolver. Um, and we, I kind of want this to be automated so I can get automated oxygen and silicone. I might as well, right? So let's have you here. If I have an extract card on you, extract. Are things going to go crazy? You should have nowhere to, it should have nowhere to go. So I think we're okay. Right? And then I want here on insert, we need, so is it silicone dioxide, this stuff? Yeah, silicone dioxide, right? We want a counting filter on the down. Let me grab a counting filter. So on the down, uh, we want a, get rid of this, counting filter with eight of these is fine. And then we will extract don't allow silicon dioxide. So as soon as I connect this up, you should be getting your thing. Uh, these are not in down. <laughs> gotcha. Now you should be getting your stuff. Perfect. Now we just need a place for silicone. We need a place for oxygen in here. Sweet. Okay. Check that out. So now we basically have automated oxygen, automated silicone. What could I do with that silicone? That would be a really cool way to automate silicone. <laughs> but I don't. We could turn it into under pearls or lapis. I don't think we could turn it into actual silicone, which sucks. That's stupid. Whatever, though. Okay, it's not the end of the world. And then we should be able to make some of this reactor glass. How many did I need exactly? 36 reactor glass. 
guys we're almost ready to build this reactor i'm actually really excited for it i might as well like start getting things in place here i'm hoping this thing is cool it's i think it looks cool i'm gonna have it like in the wall here i think that'll look kind of cool like come in this room the reactor's in the wall hey be careful there's a reactor in the wall i i'm i'm a fan of this build that i've done here um to be quite honest so let me i need the fusion right no fission no fusion no fission yes i need the fusion multi block that's the one i need all right, the time has come, come to get the reactor glass we need. Is That's all bugged. <laughs> Interesting. Anyways, we have reactor glass, right? So we need just 36 of these. And then I think we're sitting pretty over here. We uh, almost have everything. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for this, actually. So, fusion core. There's one. There's two. I need one more fusion core. Almost have everything. Almost. Well, shoot. Apparently, this whole time, I could have just thrown some netherite into a dissolver and we could have gotten plenty plenty of tungsten because uh as you can see i have like i said i have plenty plenty of netherite um wow that was much easier than what i was doing before that's wild uh because we went uh raiding <laughs> a bunch of the other stuff so netherite's not really an issue at the moment anyway, i i could have done that the whole time that's uh that's kind of annoying Alrighty. Last, oh, I need netherite scrap. <gasps> oh no, do I have any ancient debris? I do have some ancient debris. Okay. All right, so last fusion core goes right uh, here. You move, you move. I'm... Okay, so I figured it out. <laughs> uh, the multi block is wrong in the book. You do need a block under here. So let me get some reactor casing and whatnot. Do this, do that. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, reactor casing. We want that right here. We want this right here, this right here, and then some reactor glass. Now we're working. Okay. Why does the multi-block have to be rough? I don't know, but now look. <gasps> perfect, yes. I have a flux point right here, so it gets power. <gasps> oh, it's perfect. Look at this. We are now fusing things together. Yes, and now we can get titanium. So how did I want to get titanium? It was with sulfur, right? So titanium, I wanted to fusion uh no it wasn't sulfur it was whatever 11 is sodium yes i was gonna do sodium <laughs> sodium looks relatively easy to do um lapis we can do it with lapis so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a dissolver and we're gonna automate sodium and all those stuff right i want to get all that stuff done so i do this do this get a laser node get some filters what is that are we looking good i think we're looking good so do this, do this, you should be getting lapis, and then you're going to start creating things like this stuff. Okay, perfect. So we want all of these to go into drawers. Obviously, we, only have, we already have silicone over here, but we don't have sodium, calcium sulfide, or whatever this is, right? So now, <laughs> now we're creating, we can make titanium, right? So technically, right now, we do have everything we need to uh to automate nether stars or not automate but we can make nether stars with this mod right now but it's not automated yet awesome so we're getting sodium and whatnot so all of this we can get we can get titanium right now which we're gonna automate it right <laughs> been working on this for a hot minute so you have all the stone going ooh aluminum oh did i not make a thing for aluminum apparently not i don't need that so that could all just go into here wow i apparently had a lot of whoa apparently had a lot of aluminum so now we have all of these elements. We have the sodium we need, everything else we need to make nether stars. This stuff, this stuff, this stuff, and then eventually this stuff. No, not silicone. I don't need silicone. I need, what was it? Sodium. Oh, we have so much. Let's try this thing out. Look at it. And we're making titanium. And we are making titanium. Perfect. And then also, I think this multi block is like still on. There we go. We're making titanium. So we can input and output here, obviously. Which is what we're going to do for titanium. Um, and we're probably going to use it for more stuff in the future as well. I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to teach my ME system a recipe on how to craft stuff. And have like a, a, a thing right here, right? Like a pattern provider to craft nether stars and craft titanium and whatnot. So we're not constantly just wasting uh, stuff to make nether stars when we could use this for other stuff. And yeah. Okay, so titanium, I do kind of want a drawer for. Uh, do I though, actually? Yeah, I do. So what I'm going to do now, right? I'm going to want a storage bus, which I should really learn how to auto craft this out. This is probably gonna be a longer episode. I hope you all are okay with it. I didn't plan for it to be, but it might be. I'm gonna try to make it not a longer episode, but it probably will be. So 
Bear with me. <laughs> Let's go back to the alchemy lab. Uh, I can turn this waypoint off as well. We are gonna want just over here. We want channels from over here. We want, if I go behind here, right? So we grab, I only need eight um, over here. Let's grab our Emmy storage dude. Yes, you can be on priority one, sure. So now I should see all those Kim Lib, all those elements in here. Yes, perfect. Okay, 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 okay. Next, I need to teach my system how to make a pattern provider because I don't want to manually craft it. Apparently, already, I already do know how. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put a pattern provider just on this guy. And then a interface probably as well. Um, we can put that just right here, I think. Right, just right here, maybe. Um, and we can well, put this on blocking mode. Okay. You. Cool. Cool. Interface. I don't know if it'll auto outport. We can test it. Right. Let's test it real quick. Let's grab two pieces of sodium. Let's make a titanium. Will you auto outport? No. You will not auto outport. Okay. Um. Gotcha. 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 So I'll just use some laser nodes. Now, hopefully, that doesn't just extract everything. <laughs> yes. Uh, did I? Did it not see this as an inventory? Uh, interesting. Let me maybe put like a chest there. How does the auto output work then? Okay, I can hopper into here. Can I item pipe? Okay, the item pipe connects. Okay, that's fine. Where's my pipe wrench at? Um, we can do this, and then you should extract the titanium, put it in here. Perfect. Awesome. That's just what we need. So I think I should be. Should I be fine to put the ME pattern provider here? <laughs> we'll test it, right? So now we just need channels over here, which should not be part, as obviously we have this dude right down here. Uh, I'll put it on the bottom, actually, so it looks nice in here. So do it like this. Have the Emmy pattern provider here, have cables coming all along here and whatnot. Now we're booting. We should be good. I think we're good. Yes, one of however many channels I have. Perfect. Awesome. Amazing. So if I go over here, we should see devices online over here. Let me get rid of that waypoint that I just made. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So let's <laughs> let's get some patterns, shall we? Let's first of all teach our system how to make titanium. So titanium, this is going to be made with two pieces of this stuff. Yes. And then we're going to put this in reactor input. And then let's see if we get more titanium. I have 17 titanium. Let's, let's go ahead and see if I can craft some titanium. Will it work? I don't think it is. What's going on? Hey, you, you know worky why? Oh, because you're not connected. It did work. <gasps> oh, it did work. Oh, oh, it did. Oh, it did work. You don't say. Right, we have titanium. So if I were to say I want some titanium, 10 pieces of titanium, Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Okay. We're getting the titanium we need. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. That's amazing. That's exactly what I wanted. So now, 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 hear me out. We should say, what if I wanted some nether stars? Um, <laughs> right from here with a combiner. Oh yes. Let's get a combiner. Yes. And then we're also going to want another pattern provider. Let's go back to the lab. I love calling it the lab. We have to have a name for this lab. I really like it. I I'm very, very stoked with this. We can put this dude over he in here as well, I think. We'll just have him, like, over here. <laughs> Why not? We'll have him just over here, chilling chillin out. Chillin out. We're going to have a pattern provider here with nether stars attached. You also need power, but that shouldn't be that hard to do. Let me just get uh, a flex guy. Attach you. Do this. Do this. <gasps> So, can I make another star? <laughs> can I make another star? Oh, no way. Oh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. No, I think because this has weird... Oh, it was crafting the titanium. That's why. <laughs> it probably was working in the first place then, so let's let's go back to the alchemy lab and let's do what we were first doing. And know, we're just out of titanium. Like, there should be just probably a lot of titanium going in here. Anyways, I figured it out. Okay, so if I wanted to make another star, would it do it? Let's find out. Let's go to the alchemy lab. You have to catch it before it stops. <gasps> Are you working? <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. We just made another star without killing the wither. I'm very happy. And then now we kind of just need a way to get this out of here. So I get some item dudes. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy crap. And then an interface is fine. 
I feel really accomplished. We just uh, automated another stars today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, that's automated another stars, everyone. Uh, it takes a minute, yes. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still automated another stars, right? <laughs> Oof, definitely could be faster. That's my only thing. The titanium production could be faster. I wish it was, but unfortunately it's not. And this is the only way to get titanium from the looks of it. Oh, did it make another? another, another oh my gosh. Two nether stars. Okay, okay. You guys know what that means, right? What we can do with these nether stars? One, we can make an angel ring. Um. Oh. Oh. I lied. We, uh, we cannot make an angel ring. That is expensive. <laughs> that is unobtainium. I was not expecting that. Okay. What about the uh, AE2 booster? Infinity booster. This this guy. Is this. Oh. Oh, that's more unobtainium. How much unobtainium do I have? Oh. <laughs> I did not think that stuff would need unobtainium, but here we are. Okay. Is there, like, a cool way of getting unobtainium? <laughs> not the coolest thing in the world. Okay. Well, I guess I need to go mining for some unobtainium, which... <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Ooh, I finally found some. Oh, <laughs> I've been here for so long mining, dude. Okay. Where was it? I cannot lose this stuff. This stuff is incredibly rare. So we're gonna we're gonna get around here, right? We're gonna solo out all this unobtainium. Uh, and it looks like there's a decent amount too. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. Ooh, we're gonna put a waste down here because I cannot mine it with the current pickaxe I have. Uh, can I mine it with another right? Probably not. No, that's what I thought. Okay, waste down, waste down. Unobtainium. I spelt it wrong. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna go to the base. Okay. I'm so hyped. Oh my gosh. We're going to get an all the and pickaxe. Uh, we should be able to do that. Alright. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's go get some unobtainium and then get everything. Okay. First piece. Three pieces. Okay. Keep in mind we're going to, uh, times these by six. So we're gonna get a very good amount of unobtainium. Oh, that's perfect. And then after this, we're never gonna have to mine for it again. Uh... Okay, awesome. Let me go back to base. Whew. Unobtainium. Everyone check that out. Uh, I wanted to do this at the end of the episode because I wanted to kind of get flight and then also uh, infinite wireless AE. Ooh, apparently I got a good roll. I think six, so I don't need this stuff anymore. I mean, it's cool. I can hold a lot of stuff. I just don't need it anymore. <laughs> Dang, I wonder what else I could have gotten from that loot box. That kind of stinks. Anyways, once we get this, so we, get, we get some other loot boxes and stuff like that. So make as many unobtainium as you can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, unobtainium? Yeah, not very unobtainable to me. Okay, I got really lucky finding that much right there. But... All right. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and make flight. That's what I wanted to do today. Now that we have automated nether stars, I'm really excited for that. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Angel ring. <laughs> and then we're crafting the, the nether stars. I'm going to want another nether star, though. Uh, to make this into the powered angel ring. Yeah, I'm very happy. Okay, now let's get the infinity booster. Um, this dude, we should be able to do this very easily now. We just need some of these dudes. Yes. Alrighty. And then just some enderium plates. So I need some enderium. Four of them. Holy crap, guys. Wow. Boom. Infinity range booster. And then this... We could upgrade into dimension cards if we wanted, but we need more um, nether stars for that, which at the moment is kind of slow. So we're going to wait on that. <laughs> we still have to upgrade it for sure. So you got here. Boom. Infinite range on this thing. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Cool. Amazing. And I, I could technically fly, I think, but it costs XP. Yeah, a decent amount of XP. So take this off for now. So I'm going to wait on these nether stars. Um, they're going to take a minute, I think. I can check on them by going down here. Alrighty, everyone. I have two nether stars. Here we go. Energetic angel ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, I accidentally shot my sword. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can fly, everyone. How much RF do we think this costs? 4,000? We're making, we're making that. <laughs> we need power soon. Anyways, I, I'm flying. And we have um, wireless AE from everywhere. Wow. Uh, very... 
very interesting episode <laughs> this time around. Anyways, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. So if y'all did enjoy, please hit the like button down below. I suppose I should end this episode in the alchemy lab while flying. Look at this. It's perfect. Check this out. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all did enjoy, please hit the like button down below. This video, once again, took me a very long time to make. All the day, if you are enjoying it, please hit like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Even more modded Minecraft. Later.